Welcome to the Longitudinal Chimerism Monitoring Webinar using Chimer Micro Software. My name is Fook Nguyen and I will be the presenter for this webinar. Before viewing this webinar, please review the introductory and double donor webinar to understand the workflow of Chimer Marker. Chimer Marker integrates analysis workflow from raw data analysis through final Chimerism reporting. Analysis start with a rapid and accurate genotyping of pre-transplant samples and include an audit trail of all actions. Chimer Marker is compatible with all CE systems and human identity chemistry for rapid, accurate size and allele calls. The introductory webinar has details on compatibility and user management for password protected control of access rights and automated audit trail. The second step is to apply a case specific chimer typing panel for automated detection of donors and recipient peaks post BMT. Donor, recipient, and shared peaks are labeled in the electropherogram and the allele report table. Quantification options include using peak height or area. The third step is an auto transfer of peak results to chimerism analysis and chimerism quantification and monitoring reports containing a header with institution, user management, and details of the analysis parameters. Electropherograms with peak labels designating origin donor, recipient, or shared. A summary table of calculation results, mean error, locus error, and chimerism percent. Before beginning this webinar, please review Chimer Marker introductory and double donor webinar if you have not done so already. We will first talk about the longitudinal report for single donor chimerism analysis and the different settings. Then we will move on to double donor longitudinal report and settings. And finally, we will talk about how to print the report and saving it as a PNG image. In the main screen of Chimer Marker, you can use the file drop down menu to import raw data or open a previously saved project. For our step by step instructions on how to import raw data and running the analysis, please review the introductory webinar. I will choose to open a previously saved Chimerism project and build a longitudinal report from the saved project. The longitudinal report can only be accessed from the Chimerism results page. Click on the icon shown here in order to gain access to the longitudinal report window. If this is the first time you are analyzing the samples for a specific patient, the longitudinal report will appear blank. To add samples to the longitudinal report, click on the Add Sample icon shown here. A dialog box will appear with a list of the samples that are currently in the project. Select the desired sample and use the drop down menu to specify a date for each sample. The same method for adding samples would apply to double donor analysis. Click OK when you have finished selecting your samples. The report will populate with the two samples selected. The top pane displays the patient information and any comment that you may have. We will talk about adding patient information later. The middle pane shows the actual bar graph relative to the average chimerism of each sample. The table at the bottom contains a list of all the samples currently in the project along with a few parameters. You can choose which column to show or hide by right clicking on the table and selecting the desirable options. To add basic patient information to the longitudinal report, click on the icon as shown. This will bring up a dialog box that you can use to put information such as name, sex, age, and date of transplantation in comments. Click OK once you are finished. The name of the patient will be populated in the title and all information entered are displayed in the top pane and will be saved or printed with the report. Now we will move on to double donor longitudinal report. Adding samples for a double donor analysis uses the same icon and method as previously discussed in the single donor analysis. Once you have selected the desired samples, click OK to generate the graph. In the double donor graph, there will be three different color bars representing chimerism for a total donor, donor 1, and donor 2 fractions. The legend is located on the right side. The icon indicated in the illustration is used to go from total donor display to individual donor components in the graph. The show 3D and 3D bar controls whether or not the graph is shown in 3D and the effect of the 3D. As for the single donor longitudinal report, there is also an information table which lists all the samples currently in the graph. 
It is linked to the graph, so you select a sample in the table. It will be indicated by a green arrow in the graph. Any additional sample added at a later time frame using the Add Sample to Project tool will be listed in the Add Sample dialog box of the Longitudinal Report. Adding subsequent sample to project was discussed in the first two webinars. Please review them for the necessary information. Once you've selected the desired samples, Camera Marker will automatically add the sample to the appropriate location on the graph based on the date specified. This procedure is the same for both single and double donor longitudinal report. Before saving or printing the report, you can specify the viewing preference for the graph by going to the longitudinal report preference settings. In this dialog box, you can select which information are displayed in the graph, how the dates are displayed, chart layers, and what information will be saved with the report. You can also use this icon to switch between a bar graph and a line graph. This is what the report would look like in the 3D line graph. After you are satisfied with the display and information of the graph, you can save or print both single and double donor report. The save icon is located here and will bring up a save dialog box when you click on it. It will save a PNG, bitmap, or JPEG image of the current view of the graph. This is the same for both single and double donor report. Before closing Chimer Marker, make sure you save the entire project to ensure that analysis and display settings for the individual patient is saved. By clicking on the print icon in the toolbar, the print dialog box will appear. For a double donor report, the option to print out total donor only, D1 and D2, or all is available. In a single donor report, these options are not applicable. In the print setting, you can choose to print the graph in 3D along with the comments. The Keep Show Setting option will print out the graph as it appears in the main longitudinal window. Click on Preview to see a preview of the report before printing. Page 1 of the Print Preview we show the Chimerism longitudinal graph along with the parameters that were chosen to be displayed. The header at the top contains information about the parameters of the project as well as the user who performed the analysis given that you have set up user management and the analyst is signed in. Page 2 will display the same header information, patient information, and the table that lists all the sample currently in the longitudinal report with a few statistics. Page 3 will display the patient comments that were added in the patient information dialog box. We went over both single and double donor longitudinal report. The longitudinal report is flexible as it will let you add or delete samples given that you have the right to do so in user management. Then we discuss how subsequent sample are added to the report. And lastly, the different display preferences for printing and saving were discussed. Thank you for your interest in Chimer Marker software for automated Chimerism STR analysis and monitoring. For more information or to download a free 30-day trial, please visit www.softgenetics.com or send us an email at info at softgenetics.com.